Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? It's your boy Thomas from Gamer Duo, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Aftermath map edit. Uh, I did, last map edit that I made was for Carrier, and I obviously don't really like the map edit that we're using right now on Aftermath Zombieland, so I decided to make my own. Um, I don't know if it's as good as the last one, but let me know your feedback. I, I tried to make it as good, but I kind of ran out of ideas after the first one to be completely honest that was the main idea that i had and uh you know now i have this one so what we have starting off is two flags here they're both green obviously that means that you go through them to get to a destination so here this left one goes to here on the map the left side of the whole bunker so the zombies are protected from being shot at right when they spawn in or right when they get over here and the same applies with this right side over here now the goal is is if i was a zombie i would come over here and try to shank this door and obviously get it down in health but if you are a human i'm going to show you the human perspective right now same applies with this side you would run around this side or run around this side and get to the door and obviously damage it here we go let me pull out the knife yeah you would obviously come over here and damage the door and uh the door does have 30 health all of the doors have 30 health this door has 30 health um so basically what it is is the zombies want to attack one side you have to choose which side you want to attack I'm, I'm assuming or you can attack both and break both if you can that's why you know there is a time limit and uh, this isn't my zombie land by the way that's not supposed to be 18 minutes it's just this is the zombie land debugger which was where I made this from so yeah that's why the time limits that much but nevertheless so these both have 30 health here so this one 30 health as well so I'm gonna show you the human perspective obviously if you have these two doors closed and this one closed and you're in here and you're holding it down right here you can hold it down here you can go in the middle and be completely protected if a zombie tries to jump in it will prone block them and they will not be able to get in through the gaps trust me i've tried it like 20 times just to make sure and uh, now that we're in here you're probably wondering what is this red flag and what is this green flag well obviously the red flag is where you come in and you land inside of here so obviously we can't go through that one but the green one is obviously one that we can go somewhere with so up here you can go up on top of the roof and hold it down from the roof so yeah i added that i think it's pretty damn cool um and then when you're done or if there's a flying zombie or you just want to go back to the other one go back down into the bunker and be safe uh then you just go through here and you can come back into the bunker so yeah that's basically how it works and then the same applies with this right side over here as the left one. So I would recommend for the zombies to attack one side of this and uh, try to win it. If you try to attack both, most likely the humans will win. Uh, nevertheless, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a overview of the entire zombie land build there it is that took me quite a while to make but if you guys do like it and you do enjoy this and want to see some more uh zombie land map edits then please let me know in the comments below uh thank you guys so much for watching this is gamer thomas i will see you guys in the next one peace